I watch this not for the story. I watch this for one reason only. Not going to lie to you. I watch it for two words. Alyssa Milano. Who's the boss? She was the boss. At least for all I'm concerned. But because I, I even had a big poster of Alyssa Milano on my door. Now she's gone a little bit shit crazy in the last couple of years. But she's still a nice looking middle aged woman. Who's the boss? I don't care. I know some of you are saying you watched it because you like looking at Jonathan. But no, I liked it because I like looking at who's the boss. Put it on mute. Remember one time she got a hickey and Tony Danza got all mad. Talked all Brooklyn to her. Number nine, Bruce Willis was taking over television with Moonlighting. Moonlighting. I think, uh, actually she liked that show if I remember correctly. Moonlighting. I remember, I can't tell you much. I seen probably, it was really big. People really talked about it. Nah, maybe it was just, maybe I was too young for it. I could never really get into it. You know, uh, number eight. Not a big, never watched it either. I mean, seen a couple of other shows and we're talking about the crazy, the cultist, the weird. Kirk Cameron in Growing Pains. Remember that? Growing Pains. I do remember an episode where he watched Gilligan's Island and he couldn't believe it. And we turned the TV off and turned it back on. The episode kept going. Man. Oh, man. Um, Samantha says, yes, Alana... Uh, Alyssa Milano was a cutie. She, whoo, in the 80s. Hmm. Let's see here. Damn garbage men. First is the cutting the grass. And then there's somebody working on the house. Now the garbage man out there making a ruckus. What kind of ruckus? I can't really describe the ruckus, but he's making it. Number seven. Classic comedy. Classic comedy. Night Court. Night Court. Um. I watched a lot of Night Court. I can say well, a lot of. I would watch Night Court time to time. I would like to go back and watch it again. I bet it's more. I bet I would enjoy it more today. Brent Spiner data would be popping there every now and then. Night Court, and the one show that's been on our list and it's usually number one and number two slipped down to number six. <laughs> Take that, Leslie Stahl. Sixty Minutes is at number six for the top ten shows of 1986, and number five, The Funny. Now, it was listed on the comedy. I don't know why, because I don't think they ever told one joke on the show, or at least one funny joke, unless you were about this tall, and you had gray hair, and then every time you said something, even if it wasn't a joke, they would hit the laugh track button. Golden Girls. I hate Golden Girls. Now, again, I don't know. Show might be okay. I wouldn't watch it. I don't care about the show. Hate Golden Girls merchandise. They did a whole video on that hate Golden Girls merchandise more than I hate the show, but I do hate that little old lady that everybody's got to tell me, she's not the oldest, she was actually the youngest, but they dressed her up to make her look old, we know. I hated that little old lady, that was really the youngest lady, every time she said something, if it wasn't funny, it don't matter, they just put the laugh track in. Oh, we're going to go play, hey Dorothy, we're going to go play bingo tonight, want to come? And then that little old lady come walk in through the kitchen with a purse right here. I'm ready to go. And they would the audience would bust in. Oh my god. The yeah, Rue McClanahan says something kind of sexual and everybody laughs. Yeah, Sophie. Sophie. No matter what she said, they laughed about it. Has anybody seen my diaphragm? It's right here. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's get out. Let's not. Oh, Golden Girls. Number four. Murder, she wrote. Would you invite this lady to a party? Would you invite this lady anywhere? Wherever she shows up, someone dies. You know, I heard that the original working title of this is. I heard that. <laughs> couldn't get through laughing because y'all like, that. I ain't going to tell this joke again. I heard the original working title of this TV show was called. That bitch talking crazy. But I don't know. That's just what I... Oh, no. Oh, I missed my joke up. It was, that bitch talking about murder. That's what it was. I said that joke like twice already. So, Laughing at myself over here. Number three. Number three. Cheers. I thought this would be number two or number one. Cheers. I need to go back and watch Cheers again. I watched it back then, but I think it was a little bit more mature comedy sitcom for, you know, a 14, 15-year-old. I bet I would enjoy it more today. Of course, you had a lot of characters on there that became famous. And, you know, Cheers, good show. Number two is Skippy gets his own show with Family Ties. More Skippy. People were asking me like in 1986, what does Family Ties need? And I would say it needs more Skippy. 
It needed more Skippy. They should have just called it Skippy's Family Ties. They should have just done that. But you could have had more Scott Valentine than Nick. It would have been good also. And the number one show on your television. It was a lot of 30-minute sitcoms. In fact, all but one is a 30... All but two is a 30-minute sitcom. 60 Minutes, of course, is an hour and a half news show. And number four was Murder, She's Wrote, which was a one-hour drama. Oh, Moonlight. Moonlight went 30 minutes, was it? I think Moonlight might have been an hour. But the number one show... Cosby Show. Not surprised right there. I think y'all knew that. Cosby Show was the number one television show of 1986. Ooh, don't go asleep around Bill Cosby or he'll have the Cosby Show playing in the background. Uh, Murder, She Wrote TV for seniors. Yeah, old people love Murder, She Wrote. Murder, She Wrote, Will of Fortune, Jeopardy. Could have put them all back to back and the old people would have been all over. Old people love CBS. Let's just be honest. Skippy Loves Mallory. That would be a good spinoff. Skippy Loves Mallory. Need more cowbell. Can always use more cowbell. Picture this. Golden Girls. Mirror Golden Palace. The spinoff, The Golden Girls. Uh, Love Night Court, says Mark. Good show. Samantha says, Kirk Cameron's a few fries short of a Happy Meal. He is very short of a Happy Meal. That dude is weird. Uh, go figure. Um, uh, Brooklyn, he loves God. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I mean, just a little too preachy something. It's just a little too far on the preachy side. I don't care if he's religious. No, he just seems a little too, a little too preachy sometimes. But hey, he seems like a happy guy. Seems like he's got a good, seems like he's got his good, got a family and everything, I guess. I mean, seems like he's doing pretty good. Hadn't had to work, I guess, since growing pains, unless it's like them left behind movie no way saw. So I'll give him that one. <laughs> hey, Jump Man Channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>